Hey guys, we're well, back. Welcome back. We're looking at a large cylinder. Don't worry about me. I really don't. <laughs> Right. Hey, we I don't plan on dying here, here, you know. That's why I'm checking this thing out. So okay. Demons avoid these things. Ah, oh, so he's safe as long as he stays here. Yeah. So he can just stay here and starve. Yeah. <laughs> so, are we about to come across a demon for the first time now? Yes, we will get into combat soon. Wow. Yeah, now, I know RPGs are slow starters, but still... This is like an hour in, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> This guy will hear us for nothing, so... Because we don't eat him. Ah, he's got long, creepy fingers as well. He's a surgeon. Like, sound fingers. No, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's disturbing. Would you like some cherry pie, Hubert Camberdale? <laughs> yeah, let's just get off this. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? There's another demon after Makatsushi? Makatsushi did this? Magahoo? Who? Yeah, this game is filled with words that we will mispronounce. Magahoo. You feel the extraordinary power from beyond the door. Okay, it's just a door. Uh, oh, fuck, no! Uh, Random uh, encounter! Uh, no. No. Well, okay, we're in uh, a mire. Find yourself in a strange place. This place is strange. Well, it just looks like a lift. I don't know what's so strange about it. It's kind of, it keeps going. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> ah. Yes. <laughs> this is a Maya. Oh my God! It's a, another woman with an old man. <laughs> Come, show me the strength of a demon. Will do, sir. I'm on a wee weird day. <laughs> yeah. By the way, is that eye embedded in the wall there? What was it? Ah, creepy, gooey stuff. Cash cash cube. Is that a treasure? Yeah, it's a treasure chest. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, uh, so, uh, it's all sticky. It's like some kind of, uh... Oh, that's a random encounter. Uh, it's like some kind of bodily fluid. Yep. This is a weird wisp. Want to eat? I'm uh, talking in link speak for some reason. Yep. Ah, uh, one! I needed that. Me eat! Ow. But I can't do a whole lot at this point because well, just attack, I guess. I haven't got any skills here. My God, Music's pretty good, pretty good though. Yeah. It actually goes between the enemies have like you pretty quickly. Yeah, this is a a heavy or faster battle system than a Final Fantasy one. <laughs> Uh, that dodge animation is kind of weird. Why you just? <laughs> He's gonna hit me. Oh no! Yay! I'm able to. Up. Yay! And because I leveled up, I can customize my stats. Is it possible to actually lose that fight? Uh, I've never tried. <laughs> Probably if you just did nothing. I've knocked my strength up by one point. By the end of the game, pretty much all my stats are maxed out. Right. So is there? Do you, do you have to consider this carefully, like which stats you're going to level up? Um, early game, yes. End game, not really. <laughs> but even in like a normal game where you'd say you're not leveling up to max level. Yeah. Dr. Dark. Uh, I kind of have to max out my levels in this game. In the, in the route I'm choosing to take in this game, I have to max myself out. Yeah, because there's, there's several endings, isn't there? There are six endings to this game. And you're going for the hardest one possible. Yep, because I'm stupid. <laughs> anyway, this is a... Ah, don't crit me. If I can just read what this guy is for a second. He's a Petrarch. A Petrarch. Oh, I'm vaguely getting, like, tones of Final Fantasy-ish style music. I... It does like, the battle music. It does seem a little bit like Final Fantasy VII-ish. Really? <laughs> well, it's got the guitar. They got the sort of rapping people screaming in the background. <laughs> it hasn't got the weird vocals. Oh. In the background. <laughs> By the way, if I'm hurt, my character will show that he's hurt. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Duck, duck, keep here. Yeah. Well, that's that's better than you know most RPGs where there's no, absolutely no difference between 100 HP and 1 HP. Mm -hmm. uh, What's them that in the top left hand? Uh, Five out of eight. Ah, uh, I'll explain that when it reappears again. <laughs> ah. 
The voice echoes in your head. This way. Ah, on a weird day. Yeah. Okay, that is the phase that the sun is on. At certain phases, cause different effects. Anyway, new enemy, the Jirai Kudamama. Ooh. Oh, so it's like a. So it's like a paper cutout. Yeah. Oh. And again, I can't read. Really He's part of the Jirai cast. There are about 10, 15 classes of monster in this game. We are whispers a foul class. Okay. So, so class is like a type of monster, I guess? Yeah, it usually tells what kind of monster they are. For example, the brute class, they tend to be very strong physical attackers. Mm -hmm. While the... Uh, Fem chaos tend to be much more magic based. Forget what I mean. Yeah. So, okay. Anyway, more random encounters. Mm. Uh, two of these things. Bam! So, are these the hardest enemies you can fight in this area? Well, they're kicking the crap out of me. Well, that's what I was asking. <laughs> right, are these the strongest ones because that thing says full? Okay, no. Full. Alright. Uh, I'll get more into this now. When. No, I'll get more into that later. Uh, basically, certain effects will happen when that's full. Or when that's uh, not full. Not that many. Anyway. I'll okay, build up again. And I think. I've earned the lunge. Oh, what does lunge do? Okay, the lunge is a physical based. Uh, special attack. In this game, physical based special attacks cost HP to use, but magic based attacks cost MP to use. Oh, right, so you have to damage yourself to use it. Yes. Ah. So a nice little risk reward system there. Especially since by the end of the game you really want to be using those because they're far more powerful, mm. but they can take about a quarter of your health to use them. Ah. Anyway, he's playing with that thing. We shall meet again. Soon. Ta ta. <laughs> it's the girl talking. <laughs> the old I man. It was him. The old man doesn't say anything in the game. I was, I was going for uh, Pegasus from Yu Gi Oh! The Abridged Series. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> that, was more, that was more George the Oh my. <laughs> that is so decay. I love George the K man, he's a fucking legend. I have a fact that he pretty much just made it even taking the piss out of the fact that he is George the K. Yeah, but also, <laughs> you know, doing some good activism at the same time. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah, good work. Uh, okay, the roof looks very different than it did earlier, but there's no one there. So, can you get out of the hospital yet? Well, no. The entrance is blocked. As you are about to find out, the entrance is blocked. <laughs> okay. There's a hole here, but it's gone now. What? Oh yeah, and our friends have disappeared. I don't know anyone by that name. Hmm. Oh man. Is that a woman? Yeah. I remember earlier there was another door, but we couldn't get into it. Hmm. We have to go out that way. And it's blocked with the rubble caused by the apocalypse, presumably. Yeah, that damn inconvenient apocalypse. Mm. That door's locked. <laughs> uh, that door's locked. Locked by umbrella security system. Damn it. Oh, the stairs? There are stairs, yeah. I could have taken the stairs all the time, but I chose to. I don't know why I'm so surprised by the existence of stairs, but still... <laughs> oh my god, stairs! <laughs> the stairs in this game? My god! So you got some medicine? Yeah, and... Uh, what does that thing say? I saw a human at the annex. Yeah, uh, our friends haven't had the massive demon parasite overhaul that we've had. Yeah, that, so yeah, they're just, they're just regular humans. This game is also big on exploration. You need an annex gate pass to get through. 
So I will be spending a lot of time uh, looking everywhere, just trying to find items and stuff. Mm. Okay. But surely these guys, at least the guys that worked at this hospital, <laughs> should have known this was going to happen. Yeah. They were working at the evil hospital. They'd have thought they'd have seen it coming. Yeah. But surely they were in on the evil hospital's evil scheme. I keep going back to this, but what's that saying new now? <laughs> so it's a new sun, I guess. It's, okay, it's a, it's, it's the icon movement of the moon. Okay. When it's a new sun, it means basically it's a new day. Days don't last very long here. <laughs> oh, okay, that was... And as so I... it's like a day-night cycle? Well, it's never night, because it's always shining. But when it's, but it gets dimmer. There's different, there's different phases of the sun. Yeah. And when it's at its brightest, uh, monsters tend to be more powerful. Okay. Or demons. They tend to be more powerful and... They... More likely to appear? No, they still... Demons are more powerful and something else, which I'll explain later. <laughs> okay, do they give out more experience then? Not they're really. More they're just a bit more powerful. Once we get to the point where the game mechanic is introduced, I will explain it to you. <laughs> I don't really want to explain it yet. Because it's going to make Adam go, it's going to make Adam go, eh, it's going to make Mark go, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Alright. Are you lost at this point? Ah, oh, no, this I is where we're going. I found it. Hey, it's a pixie. It's a bondage fairy. It's a pixie. <laughs> it's a bon no, it's a bondage fairy. Look at her. Yeah, okay. What? They. <laughs> I'd say swim up a bit <laughs> Are you looking for something too? Hey, how about that thing you're looking for? I'll help you if you want. I was looking for something too. A demon, you can help me take me to your Yogi Park. You look kind of flabby and weak, but I'll get that side. What do you say? <laughs> Fuck you! That's what I say! <laughs> Screw you, slut fairy! <laughs> and your lingerie! If we have the. We have to get a Parsi thing, but the Freitas have it. She's part of the fairy girls. Alright. So you get fairy in your party now? Yep, she's on my team now. Alright. What is in a team member? Yep, there she is. Okay. Now here's the thing. You can recruit uh, enemy monsters. Yeah. Okay. And... And yes, the sun is full. When the sun is full, you can't do it. Okay. But you can recruit enemy monsters, train them, and um, you can recruit pretty much everyone you run into. Okay. So every monster in the game, does that include bosses? You can't, but you can get bosses. Right, for other means. For other means, you can get boss demons to basically fight with you. Right. So this game is like hardcore Pokemon. Hmm, okay. But no trading! I doubt. No, I'm, I'm guessing there's no trading because, you know, it's not a console. It's not a console, yeah. Anyway. Magatushi. Hmm. Ew, those gunky things are inside. But I'll use my. Me have Magatushi bought yours. Girl? <laughs> Magatushi? Me eat, me eat! Me open door! The open door to get... They fell for it. You have to kick their asses. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Magutine? You don't have any. <laughs> Fuck off, readheads. Give us the pass for you. Of course, we couldn't get this far without some creepy it we are after. I shouldn't really be concentrating on this, but does that thing have a tiny penis? Oh uh, yes. Uh, yeah. And it appears to have some kind of paper hanging from his ears. I'm sure this is based they're, on they're, some kind they're of cursed uh, tech. Ah, uh, right. They're, they're witch... Uh, they're used in Japanese cult traits to uh, ward off evil spirits. Right, I knew there was some kind of Japanese folklore reason for that. Yeah. I can't quite remember what these things are, but they are based... Every monster in this game is based on some kind of folklore or mythology. Right, let me get more into how random encounters work. Now, as you can see in the... Okay. 
as you can see in the top right hand corner, there's a little token. Mm -hmm. Now that token is the number of actions you can take that turn. If you get... See at the moment I have two, because I have two party members. Mm -hmm. If I hit the monster with something that they're weak against, or hit them with a critical, or pass, I can get extra actions for the turn. And that's a big part of this game. Is abusing weaknesses. Okay. And we've got the pass thing. Right, so we can progress through that door now. Yes, we can. But I must check the rest of the room first. Press X on everything. <laughs> Pretty much. Must find where I'm going. All right. Okay, now I can enter the other. I can finally get through this mysterious door. I can enter the other half of the hospital now. Which is pretty much the same as this half. Nah. Except more evil. More evil is always good. Well, thanks. <laughs> probably I have died. to say, See ya. <laughs> all, the, all the ghosts in this place are kind of awesome. <laughs> they are. Well, you know, they're kind of vindictive because they're dead, I guess. Yeah. Now, what I'm trying to do, you see, it's not entirely obvious what things are weak against in this game. Hmm. So, you know, there is a lot of trial and error just trying to figure out what that thing is weak in. These things are weak against fire, but I haven't got any fire magic, so... So you're just going to pound on them? I'm just going to punch them to death and get 14 experience. Hey, uh, leveled up. Yeah. So Jim the Demi Fiend. Jim the Demi Fiend gets six strength. So strength I imagine is your damage up. So. Strength is damage, magic is magic damage, vitality is defense, agility is speed, and the arc is yeah. In addition, every time you level up there's a chance that your bug will either heal you or curse you. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Ah, so you don't automatically get ah! the What giant fucking stingray! Wow! <laughs> That's Fornius. I believe. Huh. Yeah, there he is. Fornius! <laughs> so I'm guessing he's the area boss. He's the area boss. And he's something from some sort of mythology. Huh. I will suddenly gain this knowledge when I fight him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Is that demon a, a broom? Uh, that's what I thought. That, de that demon is... Okay, yeah. she's explaining about her uh, face of the sun here. Oh no, no, she's explaining to you. Don't let people hit your weaknesses and you hit their weaknesses. Right. You use continue use to use useless attacks. Well, there'll be certain enemies that just won't take any damage from certain types of attack, hmm. or reflects it, which is kind of annoying. She's from the Femcast, I've forgotten what she's called. She's probably not from the Femcast, she's from something. Anyway, more Wheel Wisps. I'll start editing out random encounters soon, anyway. More <laughs> doesn't understand me. <laughs> but it's weak to Ah, weak to Thunder. Yep. Bam. He's also weak to being punched in the face. Yeah. As is, as are most things, yeah. as I've discovered. Uh, not everything there. <laughs> Would that get healed? Yeah. Uh, that intentionally healed it. No, it can heal itself. Yeah. It's an attack. What were you saying, Adam? I might have interrupted you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Just a sign of just so we know it's important. <laughs> Damn you, you just random corridor. So, you said that you can recruit monsters. What, uh, a new moon, is it the easiest point to recruit monsters then? Is that how it works? Uh, yes. The higher, the, the higher it is, the harder it is to recruit. There's a lot of, fact there's a lot of factors. Anyway, Zan, that's a force type spell. Fortunately, no one I know is weak to Alright, now here's the thing. You can't actually recruit someone while they're mates on the field. Finish chanting and he's here. Ow! You need to sort of make a deal. So 
So you either have to give them money and drain your strength, give them an item, answer a fierce question. Hmm. Anyway, I've just recruited this guy. So is, is his name just randomly decided? No, his name is that's the monster type. Ah, right. Anyway, I know. Okay. He said he was Kodama the Jua. Jua is his chaos. Right. Ah, uh, right. As you can see, I've now got Kodama. He's got that, and he's got connection. Hmm. Which okay. means he can, if you use, you can actually use monsters to recruit them. And sometimes it's better to use monsters because certain monsters just won't understand you. Right. The machine demon, take this son of a meeting. Thank you. He looks pretty interesting. That's... Us demons have it rough. <laughs> he does have it rough. <laughs> rough. Yeah, I can make him or recruit him when I find him. Hey, you there. <laughs> demon. Uh, you're a demon. No, oh, don't eat me! Yeah. Alright. So it's in the treasure chest. Uh, Phoenix Town. Okay. Bam! Just one this time. Uh huh. I've got more bastards on my side this time, man. A big part of this game is recruiting demons to be on your side. Because you kind of really need a balanced team to beat certain bosses. Yeah, I've broke them up. Hmm. But in it's in terms of Mark can understand. <laughs> <laughs> we are wizard. Okay. Another one that's just one guy. Die, please! Yeah, I'll be cutting out random encounters after this part. I might as well explain some attacks, because you've seen Zio and Zan. Mm -hmm. Zio is the electric one, Zan is a force type. There are four elemental types and two non-elemental types. Actually, there's three non-elemental types. I don't even know how this game is played! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and recruit this guy, but he's too stupid to understand what I'm saying. So, you need someone stupider to talk to him. I would either need someone of his chaos. Or someone with an ability, you know, yes, we talk to stupid people. I don't think any of them have that, do they? No. Oh. No recruiting zombies today. No, I can make them later, but I probably won't. I got Seduce. That's her way of recruiting people. Hmm. Also, demons can talk to you. If they talk to you, they're going to give you an item. So I've got a shark drop. Which is an MP recovery item. The fact that you just haven't, you, your own character hasn't learned any power, magic power yet. Not really. I'm lost! We're going back that way. We're going back that way, that's not quite right. Where's that lift? I'm sure that will that'll help us somehow. Somehow. Uh, ah, is that, is that a demon? Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm gonna kick his ass. Huh. He's basically getting us now we can recruit demons by talking to them. Which I already know. Bam! But I can't recruit him because he's stupid, so die! These random encounters in this game are considerably faster yeah. than mm -hmm. Final Fantasy 1. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate a game that doesn't waste your time. Battles of Fars. Oh right, that's the old kid's soul. Just, just have a bit of a... Oh, the old kid's died. Yeah, little, as well. little moment of respect for that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Ha! Ah, you put it uh, whatever that was. Force and electric. Yeah, they're kind of shit. <laughs> they have high attack power, but they're kind of shit. Anyway, there were six types of... Seven types of... No, there's actually like 15 types of... I don't know, there's, there's, there's like a hundred types of... <laughs> there's a hundred types of like attack magic in this game. There's... Zen, Agi, Bufu, Zio, Hammer, Mudon, Nerve, Panic, Other, 
<laughs> More almighty. Oh, there's here, are, okay. But the four elemental ones are Aggie, Hammer, Bufu, no, Aggie. I can't, I, I don't know, I'm stupid, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, internet. I'm just <laughs> stupid, okay? <laughs> we'll, we'll put it in an annotation rule yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so much to remember. <laughs> so many things. Sounds like a pretty complex game. Oh, uh, this game is very complicated. We haven't even gotten to one of the other really yeah. complicated parts of this game. If I was playing this game, I'd probably just be pressing A for all the battles, or X, in this uh, case. Ooh, a human snuck past Fornius. Fornius, the Fornius. Oh, st- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there is such thing as surprise rounds in this as well. Yeah, you can be back attacked. Or they'll have initiative over you. On hard mode, that happens a lot more often. That's, there's... Okay, the real, I'll, I'll explain the difference between normal and hard mode. In a hard mode, enemies drop more, drop less money and experience. Um, enemies are incredibly evasive and incredibly accurate. And things in shops are twice as expensive. Hmm. So, well, so it's different to uh, some other ones where Going on hard mode just means they ramp up the enemy's health. There is actually no, main no. differences in the gameplay. Yeah, there are some differences. Fuck you! <laughs> punch! Falcon, punch! Yeah. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. The fight of the right. Ooh, oh, new enemy type! New enemy type! It's a brute. Are these kites? They look like kites. These are Shikigami. How dare you stop trying to negotiate him with my comrade? Yeah, most enemies will not yet you negotiate with their mate if they've got a bloke nearby. Right. Shikigami? Yep. What is that ring? Sounds like Shinigami. No, no, I know Shinigami. I know the difference between Shinigami uh, and Shikigami. Kite squad? <laughs> I just can't go over the fact that he look, really looks like a flying kite. He doesn't do. Probably is. He's the height. He probably is, again, as I said, everything in this game is from mythology. So there probably yeah. is some kind of... Ah, here is something. Very I've important. reduced your agility. Very important about this game. Buffs and debuffs is pretty much how you beat anything in this game. <laughs> <laughs> buffs and debuffs are incredibly important. Well, leaving the pixie alone. That's good, because she's almost dead. Yeah. Okay, finally I killed him. So I can recruit his mate now. <laughs> uh, do you <laughs> expect me to join you? Hmm. That's thinking. Uh, Let me drain some of your energy. Sure. Ow. It is a little salty. Curse you not enough. Pay me 40 maca. This gets a lot harder yet again. Yeah. <laughs> well, they start, I imagine they start asking for stuff that you don't have. As they level up, they change. They get new skills and shit. Okay. And they can evolve. So, how many guys can you have in your team at once? Four, Four. I imagine. Four, but I can have that many back up. Cool. And that number does increase later on in the game. I'm in the underground facility. Hurrah. Yeah. You just tell me what I just found out. Well done. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> There's a trick to negotiating with demons. It's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not telling you what it is. It's a secret. <laughs> souls are kind of our souls in this game. Yeah. Uh, well. Probably they just got too much free time on their hands. Being oh, they're dead and all. They're dead. Anyway, how many off this door? Great. Does that just take a shortcut? Yes, it's Now maybe we can finally stop those cultists from destroying the... Oh, wait. 
Yes. <laughs> we haven't made a particularly good name for ourselves. <laughs> This isn't really a game where you're a good guy, because a good guy would have prevented the world from ending in the beginning. <laughs> so what is the point of this game? You're just surviving? To find a reason. You're basically trying to remake the world, I guess? Or are you trying to do, do, do it over again? Yeah. We're trying to remake the world, but that would depend on what philosophy we believe the new world should follow. And we will choose the philosophy that we believe is right. But you can't give us, you can't tell us anything about it without giving anything away. I imagine. Anyway, saving! Not a large cylinder. Yep, now we're back in the first one. Isn't this where we came in? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's, that's what our it time, is. yeah. So, see you next time, folks. See you later, guys. See you next time when we fight a massive ray. Hopefully, we do better than uh, the Australian guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs>